Praxis, and today I am inside next to the warm fire doing a lot of electrical work. If you look behind you to your right, you can see the three hanging, uh, I guess you call them maybe pendant lamps, that are going to be over the kitchen or dining room table. Over here, those are all in. I had to adjust the length. I decided to go with, I think, about three inches shy of seven feet. Uh, that will mean that I don't bump into them. Taller people might have that problem. But uh, I want to Kind of close to the table, but not so close to the table that the light didn't spread out. I think that's pretty good height. Uh, you know, the height of the kitchen table is going to be somewhere around here. Over in the uh, kitchen itself, uh, I'm working on the very last of the, uh, the lights that come down from the ceiling. Uh, here's the last one that's about to go in right now. Uh, all, all basic lights are, are, are kind of easy. I think a lot of people get a, a little afraid of electricity. Uh, and, you know, it's good to be respectful, uh, respectful of it. But as long as you have your breaker off, it's, um, you know, when you have some basic idea about what you're doing, uh, you know, it's, it's not really all that difficult. Every light uh, has a couple wires coming out of it. Uh, the one that doesn't have any uh, rubber around it, it's just a copper wire, that's the ground, uh, and you just, you're connecting that to the ground wire that is dangling out of there. You're connecting it to the, if it's a metal box, you're grounding it out to the metal box, give it a wrap around with a screw, uh, and that's your grounding. The other two ones are your white and your black. Uh, the black is the hot, the white is also kind of like the ground. This is an electrical course. I'm not, not an expert in ele you know, electrical stuff, but I do do it all the time and it should uh, inform you, uh, you know, how much you actually need to do to be, you know, at least functional with this stuff. The white connects to the white wire in there uh, using the, an appropriate size wire nut. You always want to make sure you have a wire nut that's not too big, not too small. It says on the box of wire nuts what they're appropriate for. All the gauge wiring in here is at a 14 or 12, uh, so, you know, you can look on the side of the box and, you know, it's okay for two. Uh, 14 gauge wires or three 14 gauge wires or two 12 gauge wires. 12 is bigger than 14, uh, 14 even though 12 is a bigger number. It's one of those things where it's backwards. The smaller the number, the bigger the wire is, and the bigger the number, the smaller the wire is. And the black is uh, connected to the black wire up there. So I'm just finishing this stuff up in here. Um, the kitchen lights are functional at this point. Uh, I've got the breaker turned off so I can't demo them, but they are functional. These are not completely wired up yet, but once I finish in here, I'm going to be heading back out to do some more boards outside. Um, if for no other reason other than the fact that if you look behind you, uh, I don't know if it's too bright out there, but Amber is outside. She's sealing uh, more exterior wall boards. And even though, uh, you know, Amber is usually only here for a few hours a day, every other day, and I'm always freezing my ass off, just seeing her out there in that coat and I'm here in this nice warm house, um, I feel guilty. <laughs> so <laughs> as soon as I, want, I finish that up, I'm, I'm going to get outside and at least, uh, you know, suffer out there with her. It's, it's not terrible. It's like a little over 40 degrees outside, which is just barely enough to do the wood seal on these boards. That's it. Thanks for watching.